right, we got the 48 and 22 Bucks versus the 46 and 24 Celtics. The number two versus the number three team in the East. And despite the Bucks being on the road, the Celtics have been trending down. The Bucks have been trending way, way up. I'm saying the Bucks are going to come away with the win tonight. Hi, everybody. Time to get into the Bucks. it. NBA action a rough start to the Sports. season. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark have Kellogg and Grant Hill. Decided to sidelines. basically move the force. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks Giannis to point. taking on the Boston Celtics. Let's check and out Milwaukee's starting lineup. Believe Here's it or Johnson. not, Marquis Johnson has come to Allen. off the bench. And he parries his first look. Allen is lights out. And it's opened up everything. Giannis not only has the ability to play ISO, Here's Lewis. but pick and roll. Here's everything. Bird. His vision is crazy. And because he's right a legitimate zone, seven no footer at the point, I mean, he's you know, virtually unguardable. <laughs> And then defensively, he, he doesn't let anything go. He clogs up the passing lanes. He, he's been phenomenal. Their rise from a team that was like 4-12 and at one point in the season to now being the number two seed in the East has been phenomenal. Meanwhile, the Celtics squad has gone from number one team in the East to the, left side to the number three and the seed. Whistle a foul on the shot. And, and it's because it and of a the notable line. decline Excellent effort in Larry Bird's from play. Johnson to get that shot up and down through contact. The free throw drops for Johnson. And we're already seeing this here. I mean, the Bucks are 8-0 right now. And Larry's Eight cold. Game. Ice cold. Pass to Bird to the inside. Here's Cowan. I mean, Larry not even trying to take a wide open jumper on the elbow there. Just five on the clock. They set a pick. We're gonna screen him, but he's gonna fade That's for that good. three. Yeah, we always talk about the great even cold, I guess. Never put one past Larry. Case in point, right there. Outside Johnson. Ooh. 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 Tries to spin. Ooh. Wow. Johnson slams it in. When you're trying to stop Marcus a guy Johnson. like this, you have to match his intensity level. And Larry we Bird. Know what can happen when he gets rolled. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring. And this butt squad. Bird, that's good. You know, We're from playing big to playing real big. He angles his body instead of squaring up most times, but the results are remarkable and unquestionably good. Now here's on the Kumpo. Mm. Another one falls for Milwaukee. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good. Yeah, he's he's he has shot. been outside Tatum. So we're lost. Really, burn. him moving to point has not only helped his scoring, but it's helped Kareem score. Over Johnson. And and you don't have two missing. big guys. Milwaukee in the lead. The and it's been. Now I mean, their, their stats have showed a, a lot. We haven't got to see. It's Hardly any of their games since you know, this is, I think this might be the first game we're actually watching since he's been losing the food. with both hands and rips it down. Bird throwing it down. He doesn't do that a lot. He showed you right there. He can do it yeah, when so he needs Larry to. Yeah, Larry Bird. there for a dunk. Was once an eight point lead. Now dwindled down to four. And Johnson gets it to go on the assist from Kumpo. I think they found Johnson's their you know, mismatch, man. <laughs> Johnson on Bird down low. Exactly Bird's right. definitely a defensive liability down low, at least. Especially to, to real big men. Yeah. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. It's interesting to see how some teams go. That's to Bird. Celtics team, for example. Play a little small. The energy right? they've shown on the defensive the side of the ball, forward. especially inside, oh. where they're putting up some major resistance. And that's always your first priority defensively. And I think they're doing a nice job. Uh, from from deep, deep. Bucks playing huge it. with Giannis. <laughs> defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And here's Allen. I mean, this helps them even top to bottom. Sitting on creep off the bench. 
has been effective. Two. And honestly, Only Ben Baker and Terry Cummings off He's the bench has, his has been game. pretty good for them as Outside well. Tatum. Here's Berg. Ooh, no good with the triple. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Yeah. Nice not to have the Jabbar. Green. Always mm. a nice way to start. Mm. Makes his first one. Well, you know, if you're playing Robertson to score, not a bad idea, but that means you're going to leave other guys open and he'll find them. Outside Tatum. Lets the three fly. Ooh. Hits the trifecta. Well, if you let him eight. shoot freely, you're going to give up a lot of trays. Here's Milwaukee. They lead by four. Pass to Johnson. Hey, the Bucks started out hot. Huh? Since then, though, the Celtics have gotten back in this, and now we're seeing a little back and forth here. Oh, Ooh, he Larry taking charge. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, part of what makes Bird exceptional is his all-around talent. I mean, he gets it done on both ends of the floor, and that's how you end up being an MVP in the league. The first one falls. <laughs> So he goes one for two. A miss there. And Giannis, look. Oh, from three. <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. And yeah, I'd call a timeout after that, too. Boston calls timeout. <laughs> All right. Game Boston one. trailer. Yeah. Skip any of that. That was weird. Pass to Cowens. I mean, dude, Bob Cousy. Looking up and seeing Giannis defending him. Here's Lewis. The three is up. Drills him mm. from deep. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four Giannis the getting caught on the screen now. Have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. That's just, there's no excuse for that, man. Giannis got too much vision. And it's Bird missing. But that yeah, height mismatch. Really he throwing that pass. Shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight cover. But Larry Bird, unable to make a pay. Unable. That's high up this game. Robertson. We got ourselves a good one here, man. Outside Johnson. Back to out of the Kumpo. Oh, Giannis. Tipped away. Yeah, I'm about to say. I'm about, I'm about to say. He was okay. No reason to miss, but it's Giannis. Like, you can't. You're not shooting a three like that, dog. You got one circus three. And so it's Boston with it. Okay. They trail by three. And, I mean, Bird's done so bad. He's been subbed out for Mikhail. Three ball. That shot is good, Lewis. In the Celtic squad, though, realize, hey, this Bucks team is going to play big. Let's use our size advantage in a different way. Let's, let's use our speed, right? Let's set up off ball screens and get guys wide open. And just let our shooters do, do shooter things, man. I mean, Max Lewis, huge. Wow. Huge three for them getting way, way open. This defense looking very you know. frustrated right now. Most teams get I mean, the screen wasn't even that great, but it doesn't have to be. Right? You got the speed advantage, these guys. Do. You just got to catch them a little bit. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Ooh, nothing falling for them. Great, right almost. Ana de Kumpo has gone to the rebound there. from the floor. I know. Tatum taking it, I thought for sure, was going to get Robertson. fouled on that attempt, but. Oscar Robertson able to defend cleanly and 
Giannis. A long two, okay. Anacupo's gotten his third basket of the night. To me, this is the next step for Giannis, wanting to improve that jump shot, especially off yeah, the maybe. Oh, 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 Robertson playing out of his mind defense right now. Oh, great, great to find the open man, but and if it would have been Larry, probably would have been three. But it was. Pass to Johnson. Oh, wow, McHale. Nails it. He's was actually there. From the floor. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's Johnson, though, still, still coming away with that. McHale out of the picture. An easy lay. Tatum, not even having to see if he was open first. Tatum's got turning, basket on the night. shooting that jumper. The Bucks trail. He knew he was, it was going in, man. He knew it was going. Kupo, outside. <laughs> Pass to Allen. Fires the three. Allen. He can't get that one. Rare miss. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Already plus five in terms well, of once an eight zero lead. Pretty clear, they're dominating. It's now a two point deficit for the Bucks. More energy and effort so far. Cowens, no good. Most nights they kind of got to be scratching their heads here. But the I mean, Larry's not even on the floor. Out of the Kupo, that's good. Oh, so far, he's been dominant this period. And they find themselves the of his opportunity. down. <laughs> and the Celtics call time here. I mean, now it's even, but it's a completely new group for the Bucks. And now we're getting a bit of a full swap. And so it's Boston with it. Paul Pierce, John Navalcheck, JoJo White, Bill Russell coming in for the Celtics. You got Brian Winters, you got Bob Dandridge, Terry Cummins, Ben Baker. Of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right out in the middle the of Bucks. things and made a play. We got to see that one again. His that big block nose. was all out effort. What a powerful rejection. And I think you got Eroy. I can't remember what his first game. name is. Now here's White. Pass to McHale. Here's Pierce. Is it? Ben Baker's Austin Austin again it. missing. City Moncrief. And he almost made Bob them regret defending him so loosely. Yes. That's tipped. So the Bucks are playing really big to playing small ball off the bench. I think part of their success Here's is coming. the change up <laughs> in styles. From starting to bench, you give teams two different things to look at. Through the air. Terry Cummings throwing it down. Pass to McHale. 144 left in the first quarter. Here's Pierce. Paul Pierce, open mid. He couldn't get it to. Here's oh, Russell. Oh. Soft touch on Russell. the glass. Now, Great the rebound. Same? Probably a better put back. Get your feelings hurt. Here's Winters. Fires the three. Russell Ooh. with the rebound. Almost got that to go. The way they've gotten out the rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Havlicek. He mm. drops it from range. And it's a three-point Boston lead. Havlicek with a huge three there. Defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, oh, they've got to make some kind of adjustment. Down low. Here. Here's Cummings. That went a little long. Russell able to successfully defend that one. Hey, Russell, at, he, White. last year he was defensive player of the year. This year he's on the bench, okay? His age is getting to him. You know, he, he hasn't been able to produce. The arc. The mm. but last year he was lost in four blocks a game. Hard to win Go games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. They're exactly right. I mean, those come Terry Cummins, bite you every time. no offense. But just like it's biting them now. I don't think he's going to really Here's be able to go to, to work for Bill first Russell. First basket still in this one. And they waste Ooh. no time getting those three points back. That was really a nice Here's look to the open there. man by Sidney Moncrief. He's got his versatile skill set. Is any guard in the lead? Here's Pierce. Looking to make this the last shot of the quarter. Celtics go from down eight to open things up to potentially up five. They want to review this one. Yeah, we got to watch this. The previous play is under review. Why she look dead in the eyes, my guy? In time or not? Yeah, they're going to review that. Oh, he does sure get it off in time. Off in time but I think it's That's crazy. Wow. So, up. Yeah, I mean, I got to kind of see me, what that's that's the call we should see here, but no harm in going back to the footage. The ruling on the floor is overturned. Okay, so those points. Okay. So, yeah. 
up from down eight to up five. And that's getting Larry off the floor early. I know I originally said the Bucks would come in and win, but I have to say that the Sims gonna be favorable to Larry Bird and he's gonna have more playing time because they got him out early. I think that the Celtics are actually probably gonna win this now. Nope. Nope. I was wrong. I should have never switched. Never switch. Always go with your gut, kids. Um, <laughs> uh, an eight point game. I mean, seems kind of close, you know, especially after that first quarter. I mean, they were up one at half. They were actually down three going into the fourth uh, before, you know, just having a, an amazing uh, fourth quarter on both ends of the ball. I mean, just the the three point shots were the same, right? Celtics actually were more efficient down low, but the Bucks with the extra rebound, the difference in turnovers, um, and their ability to just pass to to look for a solid shot, and also um, their ability to make those two extra free throws, you know, those two extra free throws and those a few extra possessions is what made the difference in the game for the Bucks. And, I mean, geez, man, they are looking scary. You thought the Lakers are looking scary. The Bucks are looking scary. And their record, I don't think, reflects how talented they are because of their bad start of the season, which I think makes them even more scary because at least everyone knows the Lakers are going to be good going into it and they're going to game plan and try to be aggressive with them. The Bucks might even, even though they're the number two seed right now in the East, they might be getting overlooked. You know, so I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, as I thought. <laughs> first, first of all, Johnson was attacking Larry Bird in that first quarter. Comes away with 26 points, and as a team, they did a fantastic job um, to get the win here. But yeah, Larry Bird dropped 37 points after being taken out of that first quarter. Dropped 37 on him. Had six steals on the night. Was absolutely fantastic. It just wasn't enough for them to get the dub. When when you look at these shot percentages, like you're really not like you're wondering why, right? Uh, I mean, even Bob Pussy went one of five. He still had 17 assists to, to a one turnover ratio. Like it, I don't know. That just seems. I mean, you have people going three of four, three of five, three of four, four of four. Like you can't really blame anyone for this. It's just that the Bucks had a great game. I mean, Johnson scoring 26 points. He doesn't typically do that. Giannis going 7 of 11, 3 of 4 from beyond the arc, by the way, which is which is crazy. Um, Ray Allen doing his thing. Oscar Robertson with the, a double-double. And he had five steals and two blocks on the night and six rebounds. Actually, pretty solid nice. Kareem was double-double as well, flirting with a triple-double. I mean, 17 points, 11 rebounds, eight assists, two steals and a block. And then you had Leroy Bird um, only missing one shot on the night. Uh, you know, Michael Red only missing one shot on the night. Up to Ambridge going 50% from the field. You know, Sidney Moncrief, yeah, sure, two of nine, but he had five assists. He had four rebounds from the point guard position off the bench. You know, played a pretty clean game. I mean, it just, you know, Terry Cummins even getting five boards. We knew he was going to be in for it with Bill Russell defending him. Yeah, I mean, this they just had a, a great game, especially Oscar Robertson, Kareem, and then offensively from, from Johnson. Just tearing Larry Bird up in that first quarter, man. 